Hey guys, Naked Mole Rat doing a Diablo 2 hardcore character. Um, so, what I want to do is a little while ago I was looking to see how far people have gotten, but there wasn't any videos up, so I'm gonna have to do one myself. So, pretty much the idea of hardcore mode is um, once you die, you're dead, and that's it. Your character's gone, all your items, there's no way to walk back to your body or anything like that. So, uh, it should be fun. I don't expect to get too far. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So, I'm going to be playing a paladin. The uh, reason I chose paladin was pretty good defense. Hopefully, he can last long enough to at least make it through the first act. Um, I mean, ideally, I'd be able to complete the game, but I'm not expecting it. Anything could happen. A unique could pop up and just one-hit me, so... I mean, that would be pretty good to watch, but I guess I want to try and get as far as I can. So let's just name this guy. Naked Mole Rat. Oh, warning. Once your hardcore character dies, it cannot pl be played again. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. So, um, by no means am I a professional gamer. Um, but... I don't know, I guess I've been playing Diablo 2 a long time. Um, there's definitely people that are better than me, a lot better than me, but maybe if you're new to the game, you might learn some things. Alright, we've got our first quest, Den of Evil. Alright. So, I'll just go into the skill tree. Um, so pretty much what I'm looking at doing is uh, maxing out my defense skills, so uh, that would be Holy Shield um, and Defiance. Where's Defiance? Yeah, Defiance, because that's a. If you look down the bottom there, it's a. Uh, it boosts the Holy sh Shield for Defiance, so uh, that helps that. And then I'm gonna probably go with Zeal, so. Yeah, that's pretty good. So pretty much you just attack twice for one click at level 1, and then later on it gets crazy, you do like 20 hits per click, uh, and attack speed's raised, and yeah, it's good. Uh, so with that I'm going to go as a synergy, they call it synergy. Uh, sacrifice boosts 12% damage per level, so I'll get that. Um, and I don't know, I don't really know what else to go after that, but kind of make it up as I go I guess one thing I love about Diablo 2 is um, every time you play it the map kind of respawns so like the last game I played the exit for rogue encampment was down the bottom but this time it's at the top um, which I think is pretty cool makes it different every time you play it although I'm playing single player so uh, whatever the map loads that's just it so it's gonna make it easier to do runs because I'll just know where everything is because I'll have all the maps loaded once I go somewhere um, but if you're playing online uh, the maps refresh every time you exit and go back into the game so it'll be a different map every time Den of Evil. Pretty hard to find. Alright, kill all the monsters in the den. Alright. What's interesting is they call this den the Den of Evil, and even, even once you've killed all the monsters in it, it's still called the Den of Evil. It's like that's just what they've always called it, so I don't know. They kind of doomed it by naming it that. Look at that, first piece of armor on there, beautiful. Alright, so yeah, with my stats, um, as you'll find in most guides of, or builds online, like, there's pretty much no point in touching strength or energy. Um, and even dexterity, the only reason why you put anything into dexterity is to use 
items. So what they say in builds is um, minimum requirement for items. So don't put anything in there unless you need like to use an item for it. So it's best to keep it as low as possible. The thing that everyone maxes is just vitality. Um, just gives survivability and that's what we want in hardcore mode especially as well. So, all right, I'm probably gonna wait until level six to even use any of my skill choices. Oh no, I need to get smite for holy shield later on, so I'll just get one into that. Another thing that some people might not know, and I didn't know when I first played Diablo 2, is when you hover over your right click or left click, um, so this is your left click and normally I just use the walk or the normal attack as left click and then my skills in my right unless I have two skills um, when you hover over all your skills so like we got town portal there you can press F1 on that and then F1 comes up in the right corner uh, what that means is you can scroll through it with your mouse wheel uh, I'm gonna put smite as F2 and that's it so now if you look down I can just easily scroll without even clicking between town portal and my smite I think it is yes yeah, smite so that's pretty good that's gonna come in handy later when I quickly need to use teleports to live I always hate those um, shaman resurrecting all the Fallen. You want to try and target those first, get them down. It's funny when you first start a character, you're picking up every bit of gold. Um, and then like later on in the game, you're just walking past it all. I'm going to use my smite thing there, yeah. We can get back there. We can own. Yep. Knockback's pretty cool. I seriously think Diablo 2 is the best game ever made, like, it's so old, I've been playing it pretty much since it came out, and I still, every now and then, come back and play it, so, for me anyway, it's gotta be my favourite, it's gonna pop a potion there, can't be too careful in hardcore, hardcore mode. So yeah, blue items. I know pretty much everyone's played this game, but if you haven't before, blue items mean they have some sort of magic ability. Uh, and what you need to do is you need to identify um, the magic item that you pick up. You can't wear it or use it until it's identified. So I'll show you that in a second. Ooh, level three. going to save this point um, so yes yeah, skill choices remain in one so I'll just save that until level six when I can get defiance um, so yeah I'll show you this um, blue item yeah so it needs to be identified you get these scrolls of identity you right click that click that and then the magic ability on the item comes up so attackers take damage of one so that's going to be better than what I had on Oops. Oh. That's not going to be good if that happens in a battle. I do apologize if uh, my mic sounds not that good. Um, I just bought a cheap mic. Um, Dick Smith Electronics, shout out. Alright, first unique in the game is Corpse Fire, if I remember yet. Yeah, Corpse Fire. He's a bit of a bastard. I think he can. That's what's cool about Diablo as well. The, the, speci the unique um, monsters in it always have different um, abilities. So if you look under this guy's um, name and health bar, his ability is Undead. Um, what is this? 